What's up, beautiful people, and welcome back to Her Styles TV. Do y'all see this hair? Do you see this hair? It's a mess. So, <laughs> I have been, like, neglecting my hair because I've been on the go, go, go. Even though we're quarantined, I'm always doing something. It's not physically going out. It's doing something for my business or YouTube uh, video or something. So... I can't keep walking around like this or with my little hats on. If you follow me on Instagram and you watch my Instagram stories, you see I've been wearing hats and I did a little twist out and then it's like this. So, it's time for a protective style or just to put it away. So, what I'm going to do, of course, my favorite go-to protective style is crochet braids. So, instead of going out and buying some new crochet braids, I'm going to use my some previously worn crochet braids. But before I put them in my head and install them, they need to be clean first because they've been in the bag for God knows how long. Because I was cleaning out my closet during this quarantine and yes, I found them like, hey, here we go girl, here's your protective style. But I love crochet braids because I work out and it's good for working out because if you sweat in your hair, your scalp is exposed so you can, uh, so the sweat won't be trapped in your hair. Um, and it's a easy go-to style and not that much maintenance. So that's what I'm going to do. So I have my previously worn twist, they're in like a burgundy. And I put them on these zip ties so they can be together when I wash them. So I have about one, two, three, four little bundles that I put on zip ties. And I know this is enough because this is what I wore previously. So I just took them out and and this look like enough. Don't y'all think so? If not, I got an extra pack that I didn't use last time. But yes, this looks like enough hair because I don't want it too full where it's heavy. So, I don't want to drop one. So, what I'm going to be using, just some shampoo I have here at home, which is some Shea Moisture. I'm going to use the um, Manuka Honey, Manuka Honey Intensive, uh, that's the conditioner and the intensive hydration shampoo so and i'm using the, this on that hair because it's a softer uh shampoo and conditioner it's like a moisturizing um i really don't use harsh like a deep cleanse on braiding hair or crochet hair i don't know because i think it's just going to make it harsh even though this is synthetic hair and you can pretty much, um, it's not really, I say absorbing it, but it does make it feel softer, if you know what I mean. But anywho, enough talking. So, like I said, let me clean these first and I'm going to share how I clean them um, on here just in case you guys uh, want to reuse some crochet hair. I don't pretty, I don't use the loose hair. But for twists, braids, fold out, where you could just pull out from the knot, yes, you can reuse them, sis. Don't throw them away just in case you're like, I want to do my hair. I want to put crochet braids in, but I don't feel like buying new hair. Bam. Put some old ones in. Just watch them, girl. But anyway, <laughs> all right, people. So let's get right into it. So to make this easier, I'm going to put it in a bin and um, wash it that way just so it could all stay together and the shampoo can stay more confined in this area instead of just putting it all in the tub. So, all right. So before putting it, the water in, I'm just going to pour some shampoo in here and like I said this is just some I have at home 
that I rarely use because I usually sh shampoo my hair or whatever hair at the salon. So, and I'm just going to put some warm water in here. <laughs> Alright folks, so it's been about a week since the first part of the video, so now it's time to put these crochets in. So, here is my braid pattern. Do not come for me in the comments about my braids, because look, I can't see back there. So, I just did the best I could. Alright, so, and plus you're not going to see the braids anyway, because the crochet is going to come. As long as they're secure and as tight as, as you can get it or tight to your liking. You good girl, so don't worry about them being neat and perfect and the parts are straight. Cause if you bring your hair yourself, child. Yeah. So anyway, when I do my braids, I like to do these two at the bottom because I don't like when you do just the straight cornrows, the bunting at the bottom, like right here. I don't like that down here. So that's why I do it this way. Now when I'm in a salon and doing it on clients, this back here, instead of these coming straight back, it's a circle. Cause I, to me, I just think it lays better with it like that. But yes, so that is my braid pattern, honey. Don't come for me. <laughs> All right, folks, so the crochets are all in. Actually, it's the next day because after I got finished doing these, I was tired, so it was time to go to bed, but the crochets are all in. Yes, honey. Yes. But anywho, this time I don't want to wear them as long, so I'm going to cut them. So I did a test one um to see if it unraveled and it didn't so hopefully the rest of these won't unravel um but i want them to like up here so that's what i'm gonna do i'm going to cut them all right so when i'm uh gonna cut them i'm gonna part it down the middle so when i put it to the side it can kind of be layered but let's see how this goes I'm not going to even say it's going to be an epic fail. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> so, that's about right here. 
that would be done to you. And I'm going to try not to do it so blunt. Let's start down here. Because I don't want them to be like a blunt cut. I want it to be, you know, so I'm going to kind of cut them a little uneven. creative to get the back right but it's like in a B in the back let's see hope you can see it's like in a, a B in the back and I'm perfectly fine with that and there you have it so if you can't find the length of crochet you want with the twist I don't know about the braids but only the twist and the, like the passion twist and the balm twist, I know those were, those don't unravel because I've done it on two clients that didn't want their crochets as long, but they kind of cut like shoulder length. I didn't want mine cut that short, but like I said, just do a test on one strand to cut it, see if it unravels, and then you will know how to proceed. If it does unravel, what you can do is get the little black rubber bands and put it on the end um, if you want that look. But, uh, yeah, I like this. Alright folks, so that is it. Here we go. Nice cut. Yes, honey, yes. I'm kind of slight up though. But yes, this is it you guys. I added a little jewel. Jewels only had a little bit left over. Just use what I had. And that is it. And I'm loving them this length. I mean, granted, I didn't cut that much off, but I like it this length. Maybe I'll go shorter next time. I don't know. We will see, honey. But anywho, thank you guys for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Go ahead and click that notification bell so you know when I drop a video. Follow me on Instagram at herstyles with a Z15 on Instagram. And uh, yeah, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And that's it, folks. I will see you on the next one.